What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 33. In the last episode, which was yesterday, we traveled through Victory Road really quickly. There was nothing too much to worry about until we got to our rival battle, where we discovered that basically I am a Psychic-type Pokemon. Like, that's pretty much, if, if I was a Pokemon, I would be a Psychic-type because I seem to be able to call things within seconds of when they happen. Just today was a very simple episode, basically just traveling through Victory Road, and then we decided on our final team to take on the Elite Four, and that's what we're doing in today's episode. But if you missed the last episode, you can click just above my face on the iCard, and it'll take you straight to that so you can see that. In today's episode, we are going to start on the Elite Four. I do not know how far we're going to get, uh, but we're at least going to start on it, and we'll see what happens see where we go from here so if you're excited for more pokemon crystal go and hit that like button subscribe if you're new and uh, let's go ahead and get into it now uh, before recording this i had to do a it took me over an hour to grind up so the grinding montage will be at the end of this video and that's probably the only reason we might only do a couple of these because uh, it's going to be about a 10 minute grinding montage even sped up eight times is what I typically do. It's about 10 minutes long, which is insane. But our team is looking mighty powerful. So uh, let me go ahead and click in here. And we'll do a quick recap. Now this is mostly what we did in the last episode, but um, we're gonna go through a full team recap right before the Elite Four. First up, we have the longest member of our team. Sarah has been with us since right after the first badge. Seven badges Sarah has been with us. Our longest tenured member, our Grass Poison Dragonite. She's holding Twisted Spoon to power up her Rolling Kick. She also got Earthquake in the Grinding Montage and knows Dizzy Punch and Strength. Her stats are incredible. Look at that attack, defense, special attack, special defense. She is very slow, but she's not gonna go down to any hits. Then we have Uriel, our Ice Normal Titan Mew, who we caught after our fifth gym badge, I believe. So Uriel's been around for quite a while, or maybe it was right before the fifth gym badge. Uh, but Uriel is holding the Sharp Beak to power up his Flamethrower. Also with Cut, Fire Blast, Poison Sting, nothing changed there. These stats are pretty low compared to Sarah's, but defense and speed are rocking. Uh, Sarah still has the highest with that defense, but I don't think that's going to be the case all the way through this. Next up, we have Ladislas, our electric psychic Houndoom, um, who is kind of like the, the most forgotten member of the team at this point. Uh, but holding the soft sand to power up Whirlpool, which is super broken. Also a spike cannon, waterfall, and pound. These stats are okay, minus that special attack, which I'm very good that, I'm very happy that our Whirlpool is a ground move, so it's physical. But our speed, special defense, and defense are great. Next, we have Goliath, the Mon that will carry us to victory. Our electric type Dawn fan, holding the hard stone to power up Rock Slide. But as we know, hold it with Horn Drill, Shadow Ball, and Surf. Stats pretty low. But with Horn Drill, do you need anything? Do you really need those? No. But Special Defense and Speed are pretty good there. Next we have Ikaterine, our Steel Rock Tyranitar, who's a monster. Holding the Magnet to power up Swift, also with Thunderbolt Fly and Rock Throw. With 193 Special Defense, which I believe is the highest stat on the team. Pretty bad special attack, so holding the magnet. I like Thunderbolt, I like Thunderbolt, but. And then last, we did decide to add Jagjit, uh, our electric ground type Charizard from the last episode. Did decide to add him to the team, holding the Miracle Seed to power up both Thunder and Powder Snow, also with Rolling Kick and Ice Beam, and pretty good stats overall. That is our squad. So as you can see, we have three level 50s and three level 48s. The Elite Four, or the, the Champion's Ace, is going to be a level 55. So this has us under leveled just enough that I think it'll be okay. But we're going to lead with Icaterine. 
and we're running in here <laughs> now you know my ROMs have been acting up quite a bit Digimon hasn't opened when I first opened this to record just now it was like cannot open then I was like because if this goes out I can't replicate it uh, I might be able to replicate it but I don't want to that's a lot of time. I really don't want to. So, are we ready? I only had enough money to afford, like, five full restores. That's terrifying. Okay, question of the day, which is right below me. You gotta answer it in the comments below. Which generation, last, our last episode, we said which generation had your favorite uh, Victory Road. Now, which generation has your favorite Elite Four? I think we'll, oh, actually, that'll work, that'll work. Which generation has your favorite Elite Four? Is this Will? No, that's in the third game. This is Lorelei. I think this is Lorelei, so... Welcome to the Pokemon League, Domino. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Will. Whoops, I messed up. Okay, hold on. I gotta I got, I got totally switch up. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Where is Lorelai? Schoolgirl Bob wants to battle. Alright, school book. Oh no. Counter. War Turtle had counter. Okay, let's go with Swift. Okay, that's that's a lot. Good. Let's go with another Swift. Transform into a fighting type. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with Swift again. Okay, you know you decided not to use your items there. Very smart move, I think. I think. I think. Next we have a Dawn fan. Are we higher level? We are higher level, so it can't horn drill me. If this thing horn drills me, I'm gonna be upset. Now we know that Dawn fan is an electric type. So I would need like a ground type move. Who's holding the ground type power up? Is that Lattisus? Yes. Alright, Lattis Lass, let's go. We'll use double team, okay. Whirlpool. It don't matter. It doesn't matter if you use your, your little rock slide. Okay, that did nothing. Hit another whirlpool. Good job, Lattice Last. Let's go. I'm nervous. I am very nervous about this Elite Four. I don't want to lose people. As we've said before, we're going right on to Kanto later this week. Um, ditto? A ditto? You're going to waste my life with a ditto? Hold this whirlpool. That's so crazy to me that whirlpool is one of the better moves. I just love this whole randomized thing. I don't know if we're gonna do a fully randomized game again. We might. It seems like I'm figuring it out, but I also need new headphones. All right, let's 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 stick with what's gotten us here until it's not very effective. I also just realized they did not pick up my ethers. Sent out a graveler. Okay. I don't know why I, why I wouldn't just it doesn't affect. Okay. No! Okay, I was gonna look at what type it was. So it's a ground type move, so that means it's a flying type, which means I need to hit it with an electric type. So let's switch back out to Icaterine. He tried to hit me with a present. Hold the swift. And we defeat Will with the swiftness. That's one Elite Four member down. Three to go. Three to go. So let's see, who would my favorite Elite Four member be? Did that say I picked up $88? Oh, oh, picked up $88. Okay. Because of that payday. So my favorite Elite Four 
It's kind of similar to what was said yesterday. I feel like either Gen 1, Gen 3. Gen 3 was a hard Elite Four. I'll probably say, I'll probably say Gen 3. Is this our boy? This is our boy! Let's go ahead and save. Because I don't want to have to redo what I just did. Thank you, Rom. Please don't, like, crash on me or anything. Okay, so we let Ikaterine lead us in that one. How about we let Uriel lead us now? Now, remember, Uriel holding the sharp beak for Flamethrower. All right. I do not want to lose Mew. If I lose Uriel, I'm going to be so upset. I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in shadows. A ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. Wah, 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 wah. Pokemon is not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. All right, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. Sent out Onyx. All right. All right, Uriel, hit him up with that, um... Don't hit me with a fighting move, please. Oh, I forgot to turn... I just realized that battle animations were off. That's annoying. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't even realize it. All right, let me not just click... Okay. I turned the battle animations off for obvious reasons when I was grinding. Um, Alright. Same thing we just did. Apparently I save before I switch. I'm stupid. Option. Battle scene. On. Pokemon. Icaterine. Switch. Uriel. Let's go. This might actually wind up being the last battle we do in this episode. Because at this point, with the grinding montage, this is going to wind up being a 23 minute episode already. Okay, here's where we're at. Let's go with another flamethrower. Where are these guys' items? Do you have randomized items? I feel bad if you did. Because you ain't about to win. Like, you have no hope of winning. You sent out a horsey against me? Koga! 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 This is a real battle! This is a real battle! Oh! Oh, sleep powder, okay. I'm sleep! I'm sleep! I'm sleep! Okay, we're away. Used cut! Hata! I did nothing. All right, we're gonna use another cut just to knock this thing out. Then we'll move on to the next one. All right, horsey's gone, horsey's gone. Horsey's gone. Since that star me. All right, so you're misty is what I'm gathering here. Let's go flamethrower first, since it's powered up by the sharp beak. What type are you? That's super effective. That's neutral effective and did that much damage. Okay. I'm glad I remembered that that's not very effective. Let's go ahead and hit it with a rolling kick. Okay, that's not going to work. So let's go with Earthquake, our newly learned Earthquake. Stop. Stop. No! Please. This can't happen. This, this can't happen. This can't happen. This can't happen. No, no, this can't happen. This can't happen. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Are we about to lose Sarah? Are we about to lose Sarah? What type of move is that? It's not very effective. Hold on. Press B. Hold on, hold on. I, I have to evaluate this. 
So it's not very effective against me. If it's not very effective against me, then nobody else is going to take it. My defenses are through the roof. Oh no. Oh no. Warning, headphone users! Warning! This could be bad. Actually, no, uh, we're good. Oh my god. No, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose. No, stop, 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 stop! Check my speed! 119 108 103 135 I could have switched into Ikaterine! I could have switched into Mew! Please, please don't die! Not extreme speed! Stop! 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 This isn't funny. This is not funny right now. Arbok. <clears throat> I'm so upset. I started using the I started using the speed up button again. Oh my goodness gracious! I can't believe I let this happen. I can't I can't believe I let this happen. Oh my gosh. Hyper B. Okay, that's not gonna do anything. Just get off my screen. Just go away. Just go. Just go. Ha 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 ha! I have killed your longest lasting member and your second favorite Pokemon of all time. Ha 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 ha. Ha! Ah.